and running. I detected the gamepad. Detected the controller. Let's go ahead and bind our keys here. Very easy to do. We're using an Xbox 360 controller wired. One of the easier controllers to configure. So this is the Pi Zero. You'll notice it's a little slower than the uh, Pi 3, for example. So here's the image. We're on the old Pi Zero, not the one, not the W. The W has the wireless added to it. So if I wanted to use wireless with this, I'd have to add a dongle of some sort. So let's see what we got here. We got Emulation Station running this theme here. Amiga, two games. Main Arcade, we got 95 games. Atari 2600, 387 games. Atari 5200, 56 games. Atari 7800, 48 games. Atari 800, 31 games. So a lot of a lot of old schools here. Lynx 73, Atari ST 24, Coco 46, Family Computer Disk System 137, Game Gear 258, Game Boy 620, Game Boy Advance. Some of these games do lag on this little Pi Zero, so only 95 there. Game Boy Color. 295 love we have mario macintosh nothing sega mega drive 593 msx 74 neo geo neo geo <laughs> no games nes the original nintendo 705 ms dos Nothing. PC Engine, 123. And Ports. We've got Marathon 1, 2, Marathon Infinity, Outrun Engine, Cave, Descent 2, Descent Rebirth 1, Doom, Duke Nukem, Gianna's Return. So basically, they installed all the packages. Lin City, Micropop, Micropolis, Open TDD, Open Tyrant, Tyrant, Prince of Persia, Quake, Quake 3. The Zelda thing, Super Mario War, Super Tux, Wolfenstein 3D, x So a lot of that stuff installed. And then the RetroPie setup. Scum VM as well. Nothing there. Just an emulator. Sega Genesis 32X, 27. Not going to run that great on this. Super Nintendo 763. Vectrex 45. Modern uh, Wonderswan Color 3. Infocom 3. There you have it. There's the image. Let's just click into one. Let's see what it looks like. So there you go. Amiga Arcade. So it has all the Street Fighters, which is cool. Basically, Street Fighter and Super Contra. Super Formula, Super Contra, Street Fighter, Hammer and Head Harry, Hammer and Harry, Neo Geo, Samurai, San Francisco Rush, which I. No, for a fact, that ain't gonna run. I don't know why I put that on the image. Uh, same with this one, I doubt it'll run. I don't have a keyboard hooked up to my Pi Zero, so I don't want to launch any of these games and then get stuck and then have to reboot Atari 2600. So, we do have box art, we do have the information scraped already, which is good. 5200 scraped already, 7800 scraped already. Let's just try one really quick. Right. Cool. The one that goes directly into the box art. Running this on the Libretro Pro System emulator. There you go. Whoa, that was loud. That scared the shit out of me. Okay, I had my volume up <laughs> quite a bit. Let's do insane. Got one. Got one. Okay, start select. Does start select work? Yes. The start select gets you out of the image. So the sound is working by default. You saw me configure my controls earlier. Got our Atari's, Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Macintosh, Mega Drive, MSX, Neo Geo, Nintendo. Let's play like a, um, let's try one of these games. Try uh, Batman. Hey. What 
Morning on the Labretro Beetle emulator. Cool music, dude. Start. Gotham City. It's getting short. I like how they pod. Alright, and then we have ports. Sega 32X. I don't think this is going to play very well, but uh, we could try. I think it's going to be playable, but it's just going to be really laggy. I didn't know what my controls were there, but I suck anyways. Okay, so Sega 32X and like, uh, let's just take like, uh, you can search on here, which is really cool. So like, uh, Super Mario. Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2. Sonic, Blast Man, Sim City, Secret of Mana, great game right there. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of box art missing for the Super Nintendo. Oh, there's one. We got one. One piece of box art. Spider Man, Star Trek, Street Fighter, Super Bases Loaded. Good game back in the day. Hey, there you go. Rules and Ghosts is a great game. Okay. So, Mario Kart, for example. Okay, well, if there's no box art, I guess it just zooms into the middle of the screen there. So that is a small issue with the images. The Super Nintendo collection is missing some of the box uh, art. There we go, people. You see that whole time? Then again. And we're in first. Okay, made it to first. All right, that's a pretty good overview of this image. Um, it's always great to have Pi Zero images. These make really cool uh, cart. You can do the NES cartridge. You can do a portable. Um, a lot of really potential for this, especially as batteries are getting cheaper. Think about how cool this would be if you put it in a mobile, uh, some sort of you know, either in a PSP case or in a Game Boy Advance case, or you make your own case. And then you get a little portable LCD with a little battery pack on there, and you got like a four hours worth of games on here. And you can build all that for under a hundred bucks. I mean, it's pretty cool. So kudos to have a Pi Zero image. A lot of people have asked me in the chat. So here's one for you. It has a nice little game collection on it. All you gotta do is get the image, write it, and you have all your games already accessible. It's all cost customized for you. But when you boot up the image, the controller's ready to be taken in. A lot of the box art is already scraped, so if you don't have Wi-Fi, you know, all this stuff is already on your image, which is great. Um, something we didn't check, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is we did not look at um, whether, what version this was on. So let's just go ahead and go into RetroPie setup really quick and just see what kind of version we have here. But I imagine it's not that old. I just, I just saw this image go up not too long ago. So as you can see, it takes a little while to get in there. But 4.1.9, so... It's fairly recent, within two days ago. So it is also on a 